Hi everyone, it's Mrs. D. Um, one of your language activities this week is doing some um, reading with your child, specifically looking at the pictures in the book and asking some questions other than labeling questions. So I'm gonna do a little bit with my son, Arlo. And um, the first time I go through it is going to be um, treating him as um, a child who has kind of a, a wide vocabulary. And then the second time I go through it, I'm going to do it for um, an example for students who don't have as much language and how you can kind of still tailor this activity for um, your child who has lots of words and is just growing the vocabulary or doesn't have any words yet, but you still want to engage them in a story. Yeah. All right, we'll see how it goes. What do you see here? Puppy. Oh, a pig is having a party. You're noticing all the party hats. What do you notice about this page? Up. Oh, the pig is standing up yeah. on the party hats. Yeah. I heard you say up. Yeah. yeah. What are they getting ready to do? Go. Oh, maybe they're going somewhere. I heard you make a prediction. Go. They're getting the supplies. What's this little guy doing? Um, going outside. Oh, he's going outside. Maybe he is. Going in, inside. Oh, going inside. Yes, he's uh. inside. He's maybe shutting the door. Oh, they're doing something together. How's this pig feeling? Happy. Happy. He looks excited. Mommy, you hear that? Oh. What is this guy doing right here? Running. He's running. What's on top of the table? Party. Party stuff. I see lots of shapes on this party decoration. What shapes are those? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? Are they circles or stars? That. What do you think? That circle. Oh, there's a circle at the bottom, and then there's stars. <gasps> Look what's over here. Party! Lots of party stuff. Do you see anything on the floor? Yeah, what is that on the floor? Okay. The baby doll. The baby doll fell on the floor. Yeah. What's this piggy doing? <clears throat> Doing party? Oh, maybe the piggy is doing some things for the party. I think yeah. the piggy's on the phone. Yeah. Who do you think she's calling? Um, I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe some friends. So in the first set of examples, you noticed that I was asking more questions. And I used a variety of different questions to get him to use some prepositions in, on, under, and also talk about what they are doing. So I was looking for some verbs in that segment. In this next example, I'm not going to be asking him to do a lot of talking. It's going to be mostly pointing. So I'm going to look at different parts of the book that maybe he wouldn't notice um, and have him point to some specific things. If he uses his words, that's great, and I'm going to reinforce that just like you should at home. But if he just points, that's perfectly okay too because that's what I'm looking for right now. And this would be great for those beginning talkers that you um, may have at your home. Point to the moose. <gasps> the moose is in the car. Yeah. Find a kitty riding a car. Kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah. Who is sitting next to the kitty? Mouse. A little mouse, yeah. Do you see a purple car? Purple car, purple car, purple, purple car. This is a purple car. You're right. I see a car with a number five on it. I also see a car with fours. Hmm. Wow. These animals are having fun. Who's in front? Who's the first one? Wait. Show me. Point. Yeah. This one? Mm. Oh, that one. This one? 
Oh, that's one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, the moose is in the back. He's in the back. <gasps> I see lots of shapes. Can you show me the moon? Moon. The moon is a circle. Can you show me where a star is? No. That is a star. Oh, and these have numbers. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the friends are getting hungry. Show me the ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Oh, yeah. yummies. I see ice cream hanging. Yeah. He's going to sell the ice cream. Yeah. Uh-oh. Look at that messy piggy. That messy piggy is going home. How are these animals feeling? Sad. They are sad. You're right. So hopefully in those two examples, you can see how those questions can shift and have him, them be more verbal based where you're asking them to do the talking and then also just more um, having them do a lot of the pointing. You'll also notice that he really enjoyed the story and we never read a single word of it and that's totally okay too. So I just randomly picked this book. If you give a pig a party, you can choose any book that you have in your home. And if you don't have any books, um, you could use photographs or um, a picture on your phone and talk about some different parts of that photo as well. Enjoy.